all Georgia Peach Boys go wish Pappage. <laughs> eh, eh. What are you gonna wear on the bottom? I usually go. Commando? <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Good morning, my loves. Welcome back to today's vlog. Bitch, I fucked up. Like, I don't even know how this happened, but guys, welcome back. Um, I'm literally in a rush. If you guys see me frantically trying to get my last two brain cells to cooperate with each other for the rest of today's video, I apologize, but it's because I don't know if you guys watched yesterday's video, but I was on my cute shit, okay? I was on my bull set, and I was playing with the dogs. I was doing like a dog decides what I do today video. It was real cute. It was real bullshittery, and then all of a sudden, I realized that, hey, Stephanie Sue, you are not going on a plane. Hop into LAX with a dream and some compression socks, okay? You are not going there tomorrow. You're going there today in two hours and I haven't packed I haven't decided what I'm bringing I haven't packed I haven't done anything because I thought I still had another 24 hours in LA which I don't I only have two hours yes. to start yeah I know I'm coming I just really wanted to show them my compression socks but I guess they won't. Are you pooper? I'm not wearing that, am I? You're wearing compression socks. I'm not. So I'm yeah, wearing, but the pink ones are on sale, so I couldn't get you any other color. Honey, I'm not wearing pink Do socks. Do you want good blood Honey, circulation? Do you think I'm gonna wear? No, we bring these on the plane and we put them on when we're seated. Duh. That's so embarrassing. I'm not wearing that. Oh, you're a man and you don't wear pink. Okay, sorry. Our savage parts are coming out. This is why you say don't travel with a couple if you're not really sure of your relationship, you know what I mean? But like, we're not taking our own advice. Okay, where am I going? Honey, can you help me get suitcases? Suitcases. I just said, can you help me get suitcases? No, you did not say that. And you said, oh my gosh, I'm literally vlogging. I just said that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it really? <laughs> like, are you trying to take credit for my suitcase idea? Hello, puppers. You will be coming. Don't be alarmed. Please don't get all your dog fur into my freaking suitcase, though. Also me. Like, I'm so late to packing and I'm like, doggos. <laughs> Let's go into... God, it's gonna be like 90 degrees. So I guess I really do need to bring some deodorant. I have some more deodorant in the other bathroom. So I'm also gonna bring these pink shoes. I don't think I showed you guys yet. Mango, you are not the pink shoes. Mango's so excited. Mango loves traveling. Mango wants to go home to Atlanta. Do you want to go to Atlanta? So I'm gonna bring these pink shoes from Fashion Nova just cause, okay, like I said, I think they're so fun and they wrap up and they've got this chunky heel. So I assume that they'd be comfortable for traveling, but as you guys can see, they haven't been worn yet. Do I, should I really break in some new heels in a new city where walking is gonna be my main mode of transportation? Probably not, but like, I'm a really good forethinker. I have good insight. I'm gonna pack these. <laughs> I love that I don't know what day my airplane ride is, but I remembered to order a bunch of wet ones. These are like your extra dental cleans and moisturizes hand wipes. I'm gonna bring a bunch of these when I travel. I like to bring wet wipes just because you never know what your mode of transportation is gonna be. So I think I'm gonna be good with 60 wipes. Okay, so I've decided to be smart for like one second in my life. I've decided that the pink shoes are a little bit too risky. I'm gonna bring them, but I do need a backup pair just in case those get so incredibly uncomfortable. Ah. Ah, these babies. I feel like I never wear these, but these are actually pretty comfortable. Wait, do I remember them being comfortable? No, I don't know. I feel like no shoe is truly comfortable after like a couple of hours. So I think I'm going to bring these and then maybe a pair of flats. And that will be my shoe schedule. Right, Mingo? And for flats, we go with the flamingos. Wait, I think I should actually just wear these to the airport then. Right, Mingo? These are some of the clothes that I picked out. So I have some clothes that I ordered from Revolve that I'm going to be bringing to Paris. And I, I picked those out, but I think I'm going to need some backup pairs because I don't know if they're even going to fit. Okay, I'm all of my outfits. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Honey. Going to Atlanta for how many days? Like two days. Two days? Yeah. Okay. One, two. And then... Paris for like five days or something, okay. I don't know. One, two, three, four, <laughs> You're five. lying. I'll bring two backups. You're right, lying. You're lying. <laughs> what are you going to wear on the bottom? The bottom? I usually go like... Commando? <laughs> Disgusting. So I know Paris is really hot right now, but I'm gonna bring this even though it's long like pants. It's short sleeved but long pants because this has like a very breathable texture so it seems like it feels super silky and stuff. So I'm also gonna bring this like cute little mini black dress. You really don't dress. have to do a haul right now, you know? Okay, that's really rude. <laughs> Wait, um, what did our hey, French, yeah. Don't forget your, um, are you bringing bikinis? Oh yeah. Thank you for reminding me. What did our friend say about Paris about me being at the cafe at night or something? 
Remember, you texted oh. her. So he apparently, before he surprised me with everything, he asked one of our French friends if you know France is good around this time of year because I guess he looked online and said it was a very touristy okay, time. Okay, this is what she said. Okay. She said, Bonjour. Paris is beautiful anytime. Not starts the big tourism, but it is so worth it. Walk and I sitting at the cafe. Stephanie will wear short, sexy dresses. It is perfect. Go. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay. She's so funny. Okay, so like the way that she's saying that is not gross. Like if you guys knew her, she's like this. I don't want to say older just in case she sees this and she'll kill me. But she's like, um, she's younger than my mom, but she's much older than us. Is she younger than my mom? My mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> oh my god, I oh. thought you did that as a joke. What? Why? You're yeah. actually packing those black shirts? I thought no. that was a joke. She said, This is how I know I'm getting old because when I was young, whenever I walked by, passed by the street, these guys in Ferraris, you know, if I take my time, they'll just look at me. And today, when I go past the street, they just honk at me. Because <laughs> I walk too slow. <laughs> What else I'm bringing to Paris, guys? I specifically chose these pieces to bring them to Paris with me, and I'm so glad that they got here in time and they had really fast shipping. So, this video is in collaboration with Anna Luisa, and I've talked about them before. The packaging's so cute, they all will come in like separate little velvet pouches. That's perfect for travel, so I'm probably not gonna bring this big box, but I'm just gonna bring these velvet pouches so it keeps my jewelry safe. And if you guys don't know, Anna Luisa is actually based in New York, and they offer like everyday luxury, affordable but luxury jewelry pieces, and most of their pieces are made out of like 14k gold which is like super exciting because I hate to get that like, like green ring around your finger and then even when you take off the ring afterwards because you got a cheap ring then you see that green ring around your finger and that's like the ring of shame you know what I mean wait I want to show you guys my favorite piece first and it's super cool because these pieces are actually handcrafted and they offer a one-year warranty because they know that like they handcrafted it and it's made out of like really good quality material and so this is the first piece that I got and this is my first ever just like super cool quality nice anklet and I wanted to wear this in Paris with like a cute little skirt or whatever and I just love the detailing on this it feels sturdy this is the Marcella anklet so then the next thing that I got which I'm so excited about also look at this packaging just so that they make sure that your little necklace like chain doesn't get tangled over this is the next necklace that I got and it's called Margot and I just think she's so simple almost like this hammered okay he really likes it <laughs> it's almost like this hammered type of coin look. If I were wearing this, just walking around the Louvre, people would be like, I'm sorry, are you an art expert? Look at that. Look at that! And then the next one that I got is this one. It kind of reminds me of the other one that I have, and it's in the name Naomi. And that one's kind of like a more of a pearl, and this one's just like an odd gold. Like, I want to call it a nugget. It just looks like this. I think this one is a little bit more feminine, whereas the Margot pendant is a little bit more, like, edgy. Do you like this one? Especially with, like, a cute little dress. And I'm going to link all of these down in the description. I'm also going to link Anna Luisa with a 10% off code. If you guys use code STEPHANIE15 or click the link in the description, you guys are going to get 10% off for third Let me put her in back in. But thank you, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring today's video. And I literally have an hour to pack, so we gotta get to it. Ooh, I found my watermelon socks. Okay, I'm gonna just look for the other one and bring these. I have all my swimsuits down here. I'm not sure which ones I wanna bring. I'm not really, ooh, I wanna bring this scarf. This scarf's cute. And it's not like a, a weather scarf, so it'll be good. Um, okay, this one's my favorite so far. Should I bring sunglasses? Ooh, she looks buddy buddy. Okay, maybe. We've packed the bags. We've got one big one, two small ones. She's so excited to get into her thing. Oh my gosh, she's so excited. Okay, okay, we get it. Guys, she's all riled up and excited now. We've got one little baby and we've got <laughs> She looks like the skeptical one. She's literally snoring. She's literally snoring. Oh, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, guys. So this is the breakfast, this is steel cut oats and it's super warm right now and then he has some pastries and sausages. It's oh that time for some green mango! Do you remember? Do you remember? Oh mango! Where's the bulbs? Oh, 
She found the door. Oh, you hot! My mom just made us some mm. delicious Korean food. Every time I come home, my mom's been cooking very like, whoa, very oh, intensely. This is so crazy. Mm. These are, I think, like shishito peppers. We've got some pickled cucumbers and jalapenos and radishes. This is actually my favorite. My fiance is learning to love this more, mm. but it's like, um, it's like sesame leaves, but they're kind of pickled in like this spicy Ooh, sauce. Look at that. This looks so Honey, good. Look at that Pepper. Yeah, I saw that. Honestly, the peaches look good. Georgia Peach Boys go with pop it. <laughs> eh, eh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and then we've got some bean sprouts. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to eat all that to Korean food. I'm gonna die. My mom says Coco really loves the bed, but that's how she sits in it. No way. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for this? Do Nate, uh, doggies? <laughs> how are we just left with one? <laughs> We're gonna turn on the light outside, make sure there's. <gasps> This is like literally the biggest saran wrap I've ever seen in my okay, life. Honey, I might need your help. So I don't know if you guys know this challenge, but I decided since we have all the dogs here, we are going to be doing the invisible dog door. Invisibility dog door. Dog invisibility. We're going to be saran wrapping and trying to see if the dogs understand that it's saran wrap. Because a lot of the dogs, they'll just keep running into it. No. And look so puzzled because they don't understand no. what it is. We're going to test out it and see. Is Bobo smarter? Is Mango smarter? Is my boo tiger the smartest? And so we're gonna saran wrap a little section. Why do they have some wood right there? Honey, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, sorry. Pay attention. Okay. Why do you have some wood down? My mom's about to wow you. Don't know? I don't think so. Oh. Yo, oh my god! Oh. Did you really just say, I don't think so? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Literally, welcome to my entire family and how they feel about my YouTube channel. Literally, nobody signed up for this. But like, here I am at my sister's house. My sister's not even here. Just the man wrapping her furniture. Apparently in Korea, if you have a nose job, the oh. one way to tell is if you can stick your face through the saran wrap. Okay, I think we're ready. Okay. <laughs> They're not dumb. What? Okay, they go find its way over. Come here, but come here, come here. Oh, Tiger, come here. Wow, the IQ really shines through now. Oh shit. Oh shit. Mango? Mango. Mango? Mango, what do you gotta say about the, your owner? What is it? Tiger, come here. Oh. 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 Of you. <laughs> She's ready for round two. <laughs> She's like, I did a lot of parking. I'm tired. The only thing I've seen 
so far are like the dogs, they'll go up to the saran wrap and they'll like stick their little nose in it, right? Or they'll yeah. back up. Or like the dogs, they'll run and then they'll like all of a sudden <laughs> see it and then you just see half their body just go like this and twitch. I've never seen a dog try to consume the saran wrap, so. You're one of a kind, truly. It is currently like, what time is it right now? I'm like literally screaming when it's currently one in the morning right now in Atlanta. Okay, no, but I wanted to share a quick story with you guys before I go because this, my sister's fiance told me this, Andrew but told me this in the car. I don't know if you were passed out. Were you passed out? Did you hear the story of the highway? What? You didn't hear the story of the highway? He was literally passed out in the back and literally Andrew Oba looks at me and he goes, oh, is that his thing? And then I go, what's his thing? And he goes, where well, he just passes out in any car ride. And I was like, pretty much any mode of transportation, planes, trains, car rides, freaking walking, this guy will pass out. He passed out and Andrew Oba was like, oh my God, this is the highway where a couple days ago shit went down, right? Uh -huh. And I was thinking, okay, like highway, shit went down, probably a massive accident, like blah, 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 blah. And he goes, one of those armored trucks that carries cash, apparently one of the doors was faulty and it flew open and there was about $780,000 floating around in the middle of this Georgia highway. And so they were saying that all what? of these people, these civilians were pulling over to the side, like it was like flying in the air. There was like all over the sides, in the middle of the highway, people are literally pulling over so that they could pick up all of this cash. And then like the government, they came out with like a news announcement saying that if you took over, like I think a, over a thousand or five thousand uh dollars -huh. and there's cameras and we scanned your license plates and if you don't turn over the money, then you will be indicted with felony grand theft or something like that. Like so did people turn in the money? See, he doesn't know, but he thinks it's crazy. I think it's crazy too. Hey, if a truck opens like that, that's the truck's problem. I feel like the civilians, they risk their life getting this coin literally in the middle of a highway. Why do they have to turn it in? Because your yeah. truck decided to open. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if they were like, we were talking about it. Like, we don't know if they were just trying to bark big, you know, like in terms of like the police are just barking and There's then like- There's no way to have the footage, do they? And how do you know that they took over? Like, what if they just took 20 bucks? Like you might have footage of everyone pulled over, but how do you know they took over a thousand dollars? We were talking about like maybe the government is just trying to bark big to make you turn it in, but in reality they're not going to charge anyone if you don't turn it in. Andrew Oppa was saying like even days after like there were reports of people going on to the side of the highway and parking and like trying to look for cash, and so then like the government had to come out with another thing saying like the highway is a dangerous place, folks. Like you will get hit by a car and die, so oh stop looking for some cash. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Would you guys have gone out to the highway that? day if you heard word of it or do you think like the government is just like barking big or do you think they're actually gonna like indict these people for felony like theft or whatever i think it's so crazy i think that's gonna be it for today's vlog guys today's comment of the day before we go goes to thick patty and literally her profile picture is patrick star from spongebob squarepants and it says thick patty okay and then the comment is we all know the next vlog is going to be stephanie at the area 51 raid and it has 237 likes okay, i hope you guys enjoyed uh